So you see here, a world government. Why do we need one? Is it possible? Who is qualified to rule? And it's crazy because they push this shit house to house, business to business, and these people who push it, they don't even know what the fuck is going on. It's that they're legally dead, lost at sea. The devil already has their soul in the Vatican. They're so retarded, it goes beyond measure. Jesus is the fucking sun above your head, and the sun is conscious. And until you look at the sun for a few seconds every day and start talking your intent, like, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. Uh, kindly give me the knowledge of the ages so I might carry my intent to fruition. You know, you're going to remain lost. And, you know, it's kind of funny, but I have the spear of destiny. I know where the Holy Grail is, and I know we're going to be there in a couple years. I recommend you take the time to search on YouTube blood over intent and you scroll down you see all of us spilling our blood over our intent and you need to place your blood right beside ours because you're legally dead you're lost at sea officially and you can't see it but you gave up the land you gave up your soul you gave up everything and uh, I came back to life when I spilt my blood over my intent to bring forth heaven on earth and I published it for the whole universe to see and now I can see how to take over the world because everybody's legally dead and I have the favor of the goddess of this earth. Everybody's so far in reverse, it's pitiful. So, nobody can stop me. I'm ten steps ahead of everybody. You're all filthy, fucking retarded. This world is mine. So it doesn't matter if you call me Satan, the Antichrist himself. I have the Holy Spear. I'm bringing forth heaven and earth. I'm the one pointing at the Holy Grail. It doesn't matter what name you fucking call me. If I don't make videos, you're fucking dead. So I've been explaining in my video that it's one side of a light hole is a black hole and you're living on the E-Creation Discourse CD and every compass is pointing to the very center of the dish where the astral jet comes shooting out. That's the Aurora Borealis. This is God. That's why if you look up you'll see that this is like the memory of the earth. This is like the Akashic Record. This is the goddess. This is the why women do hula hooping and body dancing. It's, it's the great spirit. And every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail. There's no way to screw it up. They rub this shit in your face in videos and movies. And every year you set up your Christmas tree. And it's pointing to where Jesus the Son places his light into the hole. And you see he's on a cross. That's the unfolded cube which is showing you. Everything is right there hiding in plain sight. It's one side of a light hole. It's a black hole with the green astral jet shooting out. That's called... The Aurora Borealis, that, that is God. That is the Earth's memory, the Earth's spirit. There's no way to fuck it up. The Earth is flat. It's the division symbol. The sun above is going round and round and round, bringing the seasons. And the sun below is fixed. And it's 800 nautical miles in diameter so that the green astral jet can come shooting out, hit the parabolic mirror, and shower down on you. There's no way to fuck this up. So people say, Oh. Can I make this any easier for you to understand? It's a division symbol. There's no way to fuck it up. The sun above and the sun below have a hole that they transfer the information and light through. It's just that simple. We need to get to the other side of the fence through the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish. So welcome to the real world. After you spill your blood over your intent, you come alive. I know I'm alive. You're lost at sea until your blood is beside my own. It's clear. Your country set up a corporation in your name. You're a dead corpse. Lost at sea. You're a monster by legal definition. You have no right to any land because you're lost at sea. Until your blood is beside my own, the devil has your soul in the Vatican. Because you're dead. It's your footprint. It's in the fucking Davy Jones locker. There's no way to fucking escape it. Alright? When you take the red pill, that's you writing out on a piece of paper. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. Spill your fucking blood on it. Place your blood right beside my own published... Blood over intent, title blood over intent, tag up blood over intent, description blood over intent. It's simple. And the hologram will break down for you, and then you'll start creating. You'll realize you're alive, and that this shit is fucking real. Alright, this is some simple shit, people. It, it's, you take the red pill by writing it on a piece of paper. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. Keep it simple, just like that. Okay, and then all the forces of the universe get behind you. I'm telling you, when I look at the sun and I speak my intent... I'm telling you the sun is Jesus, okay? And uh, that's what's programming me because it's one side of a light hole is a black hole. You're in the fucking matrix for real. The ethernet, the internet, it's all connected. 
the green astral light is shooting out across the fucking sky, and we can't see it because it's, it's just thinned out. But I'm telling you, it's like the Matrix code trickling down the screen in the beginning of the movie. So, welcome to the real world, people. Once you spill your blood over your intent, you will see. If I came alive in under three years, I become fucking, like, I'm bent, set on getting us all eternal life. That's just, I, I set out to set out heaven on earth. I didn't know anything about the compass. I was on a ball floating through space as a fucking accident. And now I have the spear of destiny. I'm going to scream this out from the top of my lungs because you won't. Because I'm not a fucking pussy. Okay? And I'll wear my fucking t-shirts and I'll sell them with fucking pride. Because you know what? I'm not a fucking pussy like you. I know where the fucking Holy Grail is and we're going to be there before we're dead. Well, at least I know I'm going to be there because I spilt my fucking blood on it. Okay? And uh, I know at least 144,000 other living beings like your DNA code. 4114 or, I'm sorry, it's it's D is the fourth letter, N is the fourteenth letter, A is the first letter. What I'm saying is that these numbers are built into reality for a reason. They're leading you to real life. You're not you're not supposed to be dead and lost at sea right now, but you are. And I'm alive. And I'm gonna fucking take over the fucking world whether you like it or not. And I'm not Stephen Christ. I am the fucking Antichrist himself in the flesh telling you that Jesus is the Son and the Son is conscious. And until you look at the Son and speak your intent, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. Kindly give me the knowledge of the ages so I might carry my intent to fruition. Until you do that, you're a slave. You work for worthless paperback by your own stupidity. I sit here from the comfort of home making videos, okay? That's what I do from the comfort of home. You don't have to like it, but that's what I do. All right, this is Black Ops 3, Zombies Easter Egg Ending. And you see, the sun places its light through the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish, and it goes into the black hole sun. When we pass through the Everyone Enter Horizon, we will end up in the land of perpetual twilight. It's just that simple. And now you see here, he's going to jump into this. I'm so sorry. I really don't have see the porthole right there? I have a universe to set right. Thank you, or goodbye. So at the center of the flat earth plane where every compass is pointing to, you're going to find the everyone enter her eye zone. And this is where you're going to find the invisible mountain, Mount Maru. Uh, everything they've ever told you about this place is a lie. I'm telling you there's a crater there and then there's a hole which is the entrance into the Garden of Eden where you'll find trees that go on for what appears to be ever. And it's just like you see in movies with giants and they're intelligent and they don't want to kill you or anything like that. And to get into this place, you have to be at a higher level of consciousness. And I'm telling you, I know where this place is. And if you want to go there with me, I recommend you place your blood beside my own. And all you have to do is just type into your computer, blood over intent, into your YouTube search engine. And hit enter, and you scroll down, you see all of us spilling our blood, our spiritual currency, over our written intent to be bringing forth heaven and earth. This is the reason why. You're in the Colosseum right now, people. And the gods are looking down on you. You can't see anything. I'm explaining it to you. I can see it all. And it's all showing me exactly what I need to do to save all of our lives. Get eternal life or get our way out of this fucking matrix and wake the fuck up. You don't have to like it. I spilt my blood up. Gallons of fucking blood. And uh, I got the fucking Holy Spear. I'm the only one screaming this shit out because everybody's so filthy fucking retarded if I don't make videos every day. For heaven's sakes, everybody will fucking die, surely. The Holy Grail is right over there. That's what's been hidden from you. And everybody you know is so filthy fucking retarded. I mean, how you don't make videos every day pointing this out, I don't know. You must be filthy fucking retarded, okay? As you see here, Jesus has his counterpart, the Black Sun. Every compass is pointing to the very center of the Flat Earth Plane where the Aurora Borealis is coming out. This is where the Black Sun is eating the Light Sun through the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish. And the great dragon Typhon, the mother of all creation, and of humanity, comes shooting out of that Holy of Holies. It's coming out of the Black Sun. You bow your head in prayer to the Black Sun. You close your eyes, make a wish to the Black Sun. You throw a coin in the wishing well for the Black Sun. We need to get to the center of the dish before we're dead. They rub it in your face 24-7 that your masters see you as cows. 
here to be milked and slaughtered, your children to be raped and eaten. That's what they're telling you every single show on TV. How you don't see it, I don't get it. But it's all got this underlying tone that you don't see. It's all sick, pedophilia type shit. And it just goes right over your head because you're not at the level. It's like you're mentally fucking retarded. It's like you're like Cartman. You think a pussy has balls on it or something. And as crazy as that sounds, you know, it is what it is, people. You know, you do what you want behind closed doors. But when they rub it in our children's faces like this, it's kind of scary because... You know, these are cartoons, they're on during the daytime, and you know all the children are watching them. And all the cartoons on Cartoon Network, that's all fucking crazy shit being rubbed in their face. How, how people don't see it, I don't get it. You must be like a filthy fucking retard lost at sea and officially dead. You must think vaginas have balls on them or something. So you see, Arnold is birthed into this world in the fetal position. You see, he's literally in the flesh, he's naked. And this is a message to you. At the center of the flat earth plane where every compass is pointing to, you will find the Holy Grail. You need to be birthed out of this world in the flesh. And you're going to do that by getting to the center of the flat earth plane before you're dead, drinking from the living waters, and then passing into the everyone enter her eye zone. In the flesh. So when you see them bathing people in the holy waters and whatever, you know, you see them doing baptism and stuff. This is what the representation is, you bathing in the holy waters. Like Achilles, his mother held him by the heel and dunked him in the waters. Well, you're going to go swimming in these eternal waters and then pass into the everyone enter her eye zone. Where you will end up in the land of perpetual twilight, the Garden of Eden. It's just that simple. You were birthed into this world through your mother. You're going to be birthed out of this world through Mother Earth at the center of the flat earth plane where every compass is pointing to. You don't have to like it. To pass the frost bridge, you will need to be blood thicker than water with your brethren. So type into your computer, into your YouTube search engine, blood over intent. And scroll down and see all of us spilling up our blood, our spiritual currency to bring forth heaven on earth. And if your blood's not beside ours, published to the ethernet side by side, blood is thicker than water, you won't be allowed to pass. You don't have to like it. It was my blood magic that got the Holy Spear. If your blood's not beside my own, they won't let you pass across the frost bridge. It's just that simple. You play pin the tail on the donkey. They rub this in your face. At the center of the flat earth plane is the holy grail. Where you'll drink from the living waters and get eternal life. It's just that simple. It's right over there. And everybody is so retarded they can't see it. Every compass is pointing to the holy grail. And everybody you know, they think they're on a ball floating through space is an accident. They think they evolved from a monkey. <laughs> and that's not the case. Every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail, where you get eternal life. It's literally right over there, at the center of the flat earth plane. And who are you going to tell? They all think they're on a ball floating through space as an accident. You're all alone, until your blood is beside my own. I recommend you type into your YouTube search engine, blood over intent, and hit enter. And scroll down and see all of us spilling up our blood, our spiritual currency, to bring forth heaven on earth. We're going to get to the center of the flat earth plane before we're dead and drink from the living waters. So it's clear. Jesus the sun goes round and round and round over the flat earth plane, moving inward and outward, bringing the seasons. Out from the hole at the center comes the ash trailing jet. This is the memory of the earth. You are on the E-Creation disc or CD. You're in the Colosseum. And I'm explaining to you that the gods and goddesses of the earth are looking down on you and they're saying how the fuck are you missing this and it's scary that I feel like I'm all alone here you know making videos day after day after day pointing at the holy grail at the center of the dish uh, it's like I'm all alone I just, I just don't see anybody beating the fucking hell out of the ethernet pointing at the holy grail but me it's that it's clear who holds the spear of destiny if I don't make videos, everybody's going to die. You're never going to make it to the Holy Grail and you're going to remain in slavery. The biggest secret of all was this. And they gave you your religion and all that shit. And uh, it was all a lie. So it doesn't matter what name you attach to me. I'm the only one pointing at the Holy Grail at the center of the dish where every compass points to. The sun above your head is 32 nautical miles in diameter. 
is 3,100 miles away from you at high noon. It moves inward and outward across the flat earth plane, writing everything into the Akashic record. If you look at the sun, it's the collective consciousness of the whole, like you're in a black hole. The other black sun, the black sun, is 800 nautical miles in diameter. And when you cross the event horizon, you're in the land of perpetual twilight, uh, where the astral jet shoots out from that hole into the other dome and bounces down on everybody in a land of perpetual twilight where trees go on forever, and it's just like you imagine. Now, there's a crater at the center of the dish in a hole. And they show you in all kinds of shows, like a creature creeping out across the earth. You see the veins from looking at high, uh, you know, looking from high up in the air. You look down, you see like all these veins where the rivers are. This was like a giant organism that creeped out. And it's still alive. And it's talking to me. It's called the great earth spirit, the goddess of the earth. You call it Lucifer, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um... It's a feminine spirit. You do hula hoop and body dancing and belly dancing and whatever. Uh, Tippy toe and ballerina dresses and all that shit. Everybody's so filthy, retarded, necrophiliac, sick. They're lost at sea, officially dead. And uh, you don't have to like it, but this world is mine because you're legally dead. In the usual suspects, there was the character Kaiser Sose. And you see it. He's like pointing out this whole story and he's doing it from all the little shit things around the, the the cop's office. He's reading this whole story out to this cop using the shit in his office and the cop doesn't figure it out until it's too late and he's on the street. He jumps into a fancy car and he goes from a limping type of character to, uh, you know, like the Godfather type character. And the moral is that they're hiding everything right there in plain sight. That you're a zombie. You're legally dead. Your country set up a corporation in your name. You're lost at sea. And uh, you're going to keep getting fucked up the ass every which way from Sunday and loving it. You're in the dick house. You know, you got your hands up against the wall, bent over ready to take it up the ass, and you love it. And you can't do anything because you're a little pussy. You need to get to the center of the flat earth plane before you're dead and bathe in those eternal waters where the aurora borealis is coming out. It is just that simple. It's like you've been rubbed in your face your entire life. You set up your Christmas tree every year, your spear of destiny, showing you where you need to go at the center of the flat earth plane. It's just that simple. This is the way out. Every compass points to it. If you want to go there with me, type in your computer, blood over intent. Scroll down, see all your brethren spilling up their blood. Side by side, blood is thicker than water. On YouTube, place your blood beside ours. Title it, blood over intent, tag it, blood over intent, and description, blood over intent. When enough of us are side by side, blood is thicker than water, we are going to make an exodus to this place, blood thicker than water. Nobody can stop us. I have the Holy Spear. This fucking world is mine.